Is it another line? So by picking a spot, like I pick the C, by picking that spot that keeps you going straight when you need to go backwards. This way, because what happens is we try to get stay in front of them, we try to stay in front of them, the next thing you know we're doing the circle and the horse is coming straight at us. So we want to be the one that's going straight. So pick the C as being your backup point. So if he's coming this way, just before his nose comes to the C, bend down and let him know you're going to do something. Then back up, get his eye, change directions. And then let him do his thing. And if, if he's struggling, then keep getting closer to the C so that you have all this space to use. Um, and then obviously if it's coming from this direction, same thing, just before he puts his nose to the C. Bend down. The bend down is going to be his cue. Because eventually you want to be able to you know, have him going around in a circle and go like this, and he changed direction. Like, it's as simple as, but right now, he needs kind of that, first the cue, and then he needs a little support. That's okay, I'm a princess in the piece, so I totally get it. spot and do your turns on a beat, you know, when you, because I wouldn't use the, the short walls yet, or the long walls yet, because you have sh much shorter distance to have to back up at, if you need the room. Good. So, see, for example, even if we ever had that working, it got broken. So it's always better when you see something broken to stop and fix it and not just go, oh, I'll fix it at a different time. I was planning on working on something else. Excellent. So do one more at the C and then pick a different spot and see if it's just the pattern that you got used to. Excellent. Yep, but start keeping him from doing your drive-bys. So now pick a different one see if he can respond and it not just be the pattern. Okay, you had your hand up, so I would say the trot was expected. Good, so now you, yep. So back up. So then maybe, since he didn't get it in the other direction yet, we'll do the other direction and then pick a new spot for this direction, or for the previous direction. understands it in his left eye. We just got to get him to understand it in his right eye. But I wouldn't call that done, but that was a better one. So now he's got the, the left eye. He could do the left eye anywhere now if he understands that. He doesn't fully understand it on the right eye yet. It's a shame too sometimes people assume that if you can do it in one direction you should be able to do it in the other direction but it's a different horse different eye so i would give him a little support with the 
verbal cue, you know, with the kiss, so that way he knows when he, when he gets kind of stuck there and kind of looks at you, he knows what to do with his feet. Yeah, because he, every time he's gotten kind of stuck and looked at you, there's no, say, go, oh, you know. And granted, once he's fluid, he shouldn't have to, but right now he's asking, and he's kind of losing his footing. say one more and you probably have it. He's still not 100%. So what you could do is you could ask him to trot in this direction, do a change of directions at a trot in this direction, break him back down to the walk in the other direction. So just to mix it up a little bit. solid, but go ahead and ask him to trot in this direction. Good. And now ask him to walk. Good. I think he kind of did it on his own, but... <laughs> That's better. You might be pushing your luck to ask for the trot in both directions, but go ahead and give it a shot. trying to keep him from taking those walking steps. We want to keep him fluidly trotting. So when you get his eye and you get him to know he's changing directions, kiss twice. There you go. Good job. There you go. Good job. Let him stop. Go ahead, Helen. Give him a break. We'll go ahead and let him stand for a second. Good boy, you did good. Good job. So that was so that's an example of when something really gets broken. Because that was really broken. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we ever had it really good, but it was really broken today. Um, I wouldn't call it.
this, but we just worked on it by using the cones now. It also helped with the sending them out because it's going to be more important. focus on pointing his nose back to the sea. <laughs> so, yeah, that's because if we focus on knowing that wherever we point his nose, his feet are more likely to be able to follow. But if he turns his nose back, like a hit, he kind of does what a lot of horses do. He goes, okay, yeah, and then he's like, yeah, but I'm going to go this way. So as soon as his nose comes back straight, you gotta get right after the nose again. It's okay. I'm glad you didn't make him wrong. Showing a lot of good savvy. You know, like there he got a little confused and instead of getting louder you got quieter, which is something that was hard for you to learn. I would almost 
almost exaggerate his nose only because he's going to keep getting pretty close to those cones then. Yep. There you go. There you go. That's way better. You want to almost get him to believe he's supposed to go straight in between those cones. So you got to get that one a little sharper, otherwise he is going to start cutting over. There. That one's pretty much fixed. Yep. He had every right to stop. Do you know why? Better, yes. So he cheated you. That's okay. He wants very bad to do whatever he's supposed to be doing. I would tip his nose and then kiss. No, it wasn't too bad. As soon as you get his nose tip kiss, so that way he knows to get his feet going, and he, it might interrupt him from changing his mind about which way his nose is pointed. Like, kind of goose him into that. Send him to the sea. Get that in your mind. I'm sending him straight ahead. Good, good. There, now just do that the other way.
think there's a he's he's choosing to be offended by the pull in by the draw. So see if there is a like a little bit of a gentler like reeling him in. Um, only here, I don't see that you're doing anything to cause him to be offended. He's choosing to be offended. So our time is up, but we'll try one more. 